as memorable as that night was when we dedicated the National Inventors Hall of Fame called Inventure Place in 1995, um, nothing has given me more pleasure over the last 10 years than this place right here. Lock 3 was a concept that Mayor Plasquelic had come up with, but nobody quite knew what to do with this space. And then we bought a stage, we bought a pavilion, suddenly we had people coming to concerts. We formed the Chris Kindle Market in 2004 so that we could do something really significant with our sister city of Chemnitz. And here we are, 10 years later, and we've brought almost 2 million people to this place, summer and winter. Nothing gives me more pleasure now than sitting on the lawn here on a summer's evening along with four or five thousand of my best friends listening to music and coming together as a community. It's become kind of the central park of Akron and it's become something that of which we are immensely proud. Not all of our meals were chicken dinners though. Uh, for any special occasion in the family, we always went to Yakimini's on Exchange Street. And Yakimini's survives today in the form of Papa Joe's down in the valley, and here we are. And this is the 1932 Express. It's one of my favorites. Great chicken livers and mushrooms and pasta. Yakimini's has been a family favorite for my entire life, and I'm glad they're still in business and still serving the same meals today. <laughs> Sometime around 1968 or so, I was 21 years old, and our routine was to go to Kent to drink, but we'd always stop first at the New Era Cafe just off of East Market Street on Maslin Road. We'd get a short beer for about 50 cents, and then we'd go to Kent, and on the way back, we'd stop here for coffee and strudel to sober up and to be in shape to go home. Well, I never stopped coming to the New Era Cafe. It uh, figured prominently in the 2000 documentary that I, I did. And even today, we like to come here for the chicken paprikash. And of course, you can't finish a meal at the New Era without their famous strudel, which is still made by mom, who started here in about 1940. She's still in the kitchen. She's 83 years old, and she still makes the best strudel in town. Mm. I guess there's a certain amount of symmetry to my life. It started with a statue of an American Indian and we're going to end with a statue of an American Indian. A man from Dayton came to us at the Historical Society 15 years ago wanting to mark the actual trail of the Portage Path, one of the most ancient landmarks in the North American landscape. I chaired that event and after spending $400,000 of his money, we were able to build these two statues created by a Native American artist, Peter Jones, who lives on the Cattaraugus Reservation in upstate New York, and 50 trail markers in between the two terminus points. It uh, was a project that I hope gives some sense of, to children especially, that people have been here for 10,000 years. I guess that's the nature of the symmetry as well. We continue to enliven this place that has been populated for so long. I like the quote by E.B. White, I arise each morning intending to change the world. I arise each morning hoping to enjoy the world. It makes it difficult to plan the day, but as difficult as it has been, it's been most interesting as well. Akron has always been inventive, industrious, and inspired.